Hi guys! Now I've got a proper little treat for you here because it's a recipe from Minion and I tell you I had to wrestle to get this one. They are Florentines. They're great little parcels of nuts and citrus fruits and the best bit for me is that they're chocolate backed. Really, really easy to make. Let's take a look. To make these I'm going to use 150 grams of flaked almonds. 100 grams of mixed peel, 65 grams of icing sugar, the zest of one orange, the white of one egg, and finally to decorate, 100 grams of dark chocolate and a generous knob of butter. The knob I'm using here weighs 25 grams. I'm going to start by preheating my oven to 150 Celsius. And that's 160, so I'll just go back a bit. Now this next bit is super complicated, so make sure you get it nice and close. I'm basically going to chuck everything into this bowl apart from the chocolate and the butter and mix it together. So, almonds, mixed peel, zest, icing sugar and egg white. Now I'm going to mix it with a spatula. Now the great thing is, anyone you share this with Bad to think you work far harder on this than you actually can. But that's taken me about a minute of mixing and it's all ready. I'm going to cook these on my silicon baking sheets here that are on my baking tins. And you could use parchment, but it might be a bit sticky to get them off at the end. So where you've got silicon, use it. I'm using a dessert spoon and I'm going to make about six per sheet here, about the size of a cookie. And when you put them down on your baking sheet, just make sure everything's nicely interlocked, so no big gaps in the middle of them. Just make 12 from the mixture of various shapes and sizes. Just make sure you have a little fiddle before getting them in the oven. Make sure it's all nice and compact and everything's together. After just 10 minutes in the oven, they'll be golden brown and ready to come out. Now you need to let these completely cool before we decorate them. Once they're almost cool, it's time to start melting your chocolate and butter. I'm going to do that over a pan. Now once they're cool, use a fish knife or spatula. I'm not sure what these are called really, they're flippy things. Um, to get them off and turn them upside down onto a board ready for the chocolate to go on the bottom. Now don't worry if some of them crumble when you're flipping them over because the chocolate's going to glue them all back together. And once the chocolate's all melted, we're ready to cover the back. I'm going to just use a teaspoon to put some on and spread it around. And if any of them have broken, this is your chance to glue them all back together with the chocolate. There we go. Once you've chocolated your bags, they're ready to go into the fridge, maybe for about an hour. Now I think these honestly are really delicious and I'm sure you're going to love them. Thank you so much for watching me make these. Please give them a go if you do remember to tweet or Instagram me a picture. And if you can, give my video a big thumbs up and come back for seconds. Et voila, look awesome. at that. all eggs in. Bam! How you just threw egg on your floor, <laughs> sorry. Is that good? Oh my god, that is so good! <laughs>